हेलो गाइस दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर टू बेस्ड ऑन फोरियर सीरीज एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेक्चर आई वांट टू स्टेट सम बेसिक फिनोमिना बेस्ड ऑन इवन एंड ऑर्ड फंक्शंस यू ऑल ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दिस इन योर स्कूलिंग बट आई वांट टू रिवाइज इट इफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू इफ एफ माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू एफ एक्स देन दिस इज नॉन एज इवन फंक्शन If f minus x is equals to minus f x, then this is known as odd function. De definite integral property based on even and odd function. So integral minus a to a f x d x is equals to zero when f x is odd, and twice integral zero to a f x d x when f x is even. Now we will move on a basic problem based on this even and odd phenomena for the Fourier. Series. Uh, moving on the another problem of Fourier series. Uh, the problem is if f x equals to x plus x square. Uh, for x lies between minus pi to pi. These are the limits. Uh, find Fourier expansion of f x and hence deduce that pi square by six is equals to one plus one upon two square plus one upon three square plus one upon four square and so on. So as earlier stated, uh, the Fourier series expansion is the standard formula is f x equals to a naught by two plus sigma n equals to one to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n equals to one to infinity b n sin n x. Let it is let it is equation number one and the value of a naught a n and b n comes from the Euler's formula or the Euler's formula which was uh, earlier told to you in the previous slide. A naught is equals to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi f x d x. Which is equals to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi, and the value of f x is x plus x square. Replace here uh, by the f x that is x plus x square d x. And in the pre in this in the beginning of this particular lecture, I told you uh, what is even function and what is the odd function. So from there uh, we identified that x is the odd function and x square is the even function. And when function is odd, then it will become zero. And when it is even, then it is twice, and the limit will be half. And you also studied it in your schooling. So two upon pi integral zero to pi x square dx. After solving, we get two pi square by three. Let it is first. A n is equal to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi f x cos n x dx is equal to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi x plus x square cos n x dx. Again. x into cos n x is odd function, so it will become zero. And x square cos n x is the even function, so apply the even odd formula. So two upon pi integral zero to pi x square cos n x dx. On solving by the eyelet, we will get four upon n square cos n pi. And you know the value of cos n pi is minus one raised to power n. We can further solve it. We can break break it if n is equal to odd. Then it will become minus four upon n square, and if n is equals to even, then it will become four upon n square positive. So this is second. And b n is equals to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi f x sine n x d x is equals to one upon pi integral minus pi to pi x plus x square sine n. Here again apply the even odd phenomena. So where we get x sine x is an even function, and x square sine n x is an odd function. So it will become zero. And only x sin n x remains. So two upon pi integral zero to pi x sin n x d x. On solving it, we get b n equals to minus two upon n cos n pi. And again, the value of cos n pi is equals to minus one raised to power n. Or on expanding it, when n equals to odd, it will become minus two upon n. And when n equals to even, this will become minus two upon n. This is third part. So putting first, second, and third in equation one. In this particular equation, what do we get? F x replaced by the original question x plus x square. A naught is equal to two pi square by three. So one upon two into two pi square by three plus sigma n equals to one to infinite. A n is four upon n square minus one raised to power n cos n x plus sigma n equals to one to infinite. B n is minus two upon n minus one raised to power n and into sine n x. So on expanding. We get one pi square by three plus four is a constant, so take it outside the summation and expand the summation for n equals to e, even and odd. When n is equals to odd, 
then it will become negative and when n is equals to e1 then it will become positive so this will be minus cos x upon x square uh, 1 square plus cos 2x upon 2 square minus cos 3x upon 3 square and so on and the same uh, minus 2 twice of minus sin x plus sin 2x upon 2 minus sin 3x upon 3 and so on this is equation 2 this is the complete solution of this particular problem but we have to solve uh, again we have to find out the deduction part and the deduction part is pi square by 6 is equal to uh, 1, of 1 plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square plus 1 upon 4 square and so on so for this we have to identify we have to find out what we have to put in this particular equation number 2 so that we can get the desired deduction each question can contain more than 1 or 2 or 3 deduction part so we have to identify what limit we have to put in this particular problem the limits was minus pi to pi so we have a limitation we can put the value of pi in between including the limits uh, boundary of the limits so we have to identify the value of x in term of pi so that we can get pi square by 6 so one thing is clear we have to find the value in term of pi square so we have to find the value such that x will be 0 x will become 0 so this can be 0 when we put x equals to minus pi and x equals to pi so putting x equals to minus pi and pi in equation number 2 we get see what we get minus pi plus pi square is equals to pi square by 3 and the value of cos minus theta is always cos theta so this is cos pi this is cos 2 pi this is cos 3 pi and cos pi is minus 1 so this will become plus 1 cos 2 pi is always plus 1 so it will become 1 upon 2 square similarly 1 upon 3 square and so on and sin pi or sin n pi is always 0 we know that sin n pi is always 0 so this will become 0 or we can omit it let it be equation number 3 similarly on putting x equals to pi we get pi plus pi square plus uh, is equals to pi square by 3 and the same 4 time of 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square and so on equation number 4 now we have to cancel out this pi so how to cancel out this if we add these two equation then we can cancel this minus pi to plus pi and we will get the function in term of pi square only so adding these equation 3 and 4 adding equation 3 and 4 we get pi square is equals to pi square by 3 and pi square by 3 is 2 pi square by 3 these two terms are same so this will again twice so 4 and 4 that is 8 time of 1 upon 1 square plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square and so on we can take common 2 as on both sides and cancel it so we uh, so the equation converted into pi square is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 time of this particular term take it take this pi square by 3 in the left hand side and on solving we get 2 pi square by 3 is equal to 4 time of this take 4 again in left hand side and on solving we get pi square by 6 is equal to 1 upon 1 plus 1 upon 2 square plus 1 upon 3 square and so on this is the complete answer of this type of problem as earlier said this deduction part depends on the question and it may be differ from the uh, from one to another one question contain more than one deduction part so thank you guys if you like this video then like and share this particular video thank you